Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon Episode 8 right here on Mistledyne Online. That's me. That's my channel. Uh, welcome. Good to see you guys again. Hey, how's it going? In the last episode, we tackled the Volcano Villude and took down two whole bosses, the Firebird and the Virage. The Virage, the wounded Virage, the thing that was calling Shayna. Now, if you guys remember, the Virage is the 108th a uh, species that the fruits that fell from the tree that gave all life here on Endoness, uh, which is very interesting, very interesting indeed. In this episode, we are heading to the dragon's nest, the nest of dragon, the dragon's lair, where Fairbrand, the green tusk dragon, is rumored to be nesting in the nest of dragons. It's a nest of dragons with dragons in it. Anyways, we're gonna head into that. Hopefully, we can encounter and defeat him in Nest of Dragon. Which is such a weird name. It's actually called the Nest of Dragon in the uh, Listen, I don't know, man. Look at how cool, oh. It's kind of creepy, actually. Like, really, I don't know, creepy. <laughs> There's a chest over there, but we can't grab it yet. We have to go forward just a little bit until we can actually get across, oh, hello? Guys. Don't you feel something? This forest is contaminated by the dragon's poison. I see. That's why the Sandoras don't have a defense in this forest. A normal person cannot be exposed to this poison for a long time. It's a natural defense. Oh my! What's wrong? I felt a little bit dizzy, that's all. I guess it is hard for a woman. Oh, I'm a woman too. You are special. Okay. Special, huh? Fine, I don't capitalize on a woman's frailty anyway. I, I don't mean to do, oh no. I'm okay. See, Rose is fine too. But I, I'm sorry. I need to go rest a little. Shayna, why, you're in a forest with poison and dragon. Why would you run away, you dumb butt? This is like not a good idea. What is that? Are you all right? Uh-huh. Don't worry, I don't feel sick anymore. Hmm. Besides, I think I got used to the air in this place. Then, can you go with us? Sure. If I fall down here, there would be no meaning to me coming with you. Indeed, we can say the war is in our hands because the Kaisers cannot make a move. Shayna, please don't leave us like that. We don't know what awaits us. Sorry. It's okay, you dum dum bum bum. Now let's move on. Okay, okay, okay. But we I want to know what that big thing is in the back. They are playing brother and sister. Yep, they are always like that. Anyways, uh, I want to head back up here because I'm curious. I'm curious what this, what this big thing is here. The plant is blocking the way. We cannot go further unless we do something about it. I wonder, I wonder what that is. Huh. I mean, I know, but you might not know. And that's that's the good, oh, random encounter. Actually, this is good because we haven't seen any of the enemies that are in here. Uh, well, yeah, no, I guess we haven't seen any of them. We are facing the Mandrake, which is the plant looking dude, and the Runfast, which is the bird. Mandrake and uh, Runfast. Yep, that's, that's their names, my friends. That's their name. So, uh, the Mandrake is water-based, so we can go ahead and just uh, attack with Dart, why not? Burning rush it up. The Mandrake also has about 99 health, which is quite a bit. Uh, so we're gonna focus on it with, uh, with Rose as well. 118 damage out of Rose. That is quite beautiful. Uh, Rose's addition system is capped. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I'll go over that in a second. Anyways, we want to focus on Runfast now, which is actually a thunder 
Elemental, which I don't believe we've actually seen Thunder. It has about 66 health, so let's go in with a spinning cane. And hopefully, I don't think we'll have it. 59, so close to one-shotting this bird, uh, but not quite yet. So that's good for us, though, because now we can use the addition Burning Rush. 32 damage. Oof, Dart, you need some help, my dude. You need some help. So the things that I did off stream that I do want to talk about, because it's it's pretty important, uh, is I went and got, like I said I was going to do in the last episode, I went and actually got the, um, what do you, 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 what do you call it? Uh, the spirit cloak that the flame spirit, the fire spirit actually dropped. The spirit cloak right here increases escape rate from magical attacks by 20 points. So we got the elude cloak earlier, uh, in the previous episode, which raised our uh, physical evasion by 20. This raises our magical evasion by 20. Actually pretty useful. We also did get the red eye stone from the Firebird. Reduces damage from fire-based attacks by half. Not really useful right now, uh, but useful in certain areas and, and times. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we kind of passed the Volcano Villude where we got it at the end, where it's the most useful, which makes no sense. But anyways, I wanted to go down there real quick uh, just to show you that there is, um, that's where we came in. And we want to continue up this way because eventually we're going to be able to actually cross the, the stream here, which is what we want to do. So you'll notice that there is a web over there. We don't actually want to go over there just yet. This, this web here, interesting, oh. Well, hopefully we find one of the enemies that I want to talk about. The Mandrakes, by the way, have a chance of dropping a Sun Rhapsody, which we've seen you know, plenty of. And the Run Fast have a chance of dropping a Body Purifier. Now, we have another enemy here called the Lizard Man. These guys are actually super, super useful. So let's focus on these Run Fast first. Take these guys down as quickly as possible with that 59 damage. That stinks. Uh... Physical attack barrier. That is 100% exactly what we wanted. The run fast is going to run away. So the lizard man here uh, is actually going to be super useful. He has that physical attack barrier in front of him, meaning that our physical attacks will do no damage whatsoever, allowing us to actually just sit here and hit him over and over and over and over and this is going to be the best way to level our additions because we can just sit here and we don't need to we don't need to go in random encounters we don't need to do anything unfortunately his physical barrier is down uh, so we can just sit here and guard until it goes back up now the other thing about the lizard man enemy is that he has a 2% chance there it is again the physical attack barrier he has a 2% chance to drop a weapon called the beast fang the Beast Fang can only be equipped on somebody that is not in our party yet, but will be. It's also not available until much later in the game. This is the earliest chance we have of getting it. I recommend farming it. This is actually a really, really, really great chance to level up your characters, level up their additions, and farm a Beast Fang. I highly, highly recommend fighting as many Lizard Mans as you possibly, possibly can. I'm going to finish up on this one uh, just so we can move forward and I can show you some things here. I also forgot to mention that the Lizard Man has 40 health. Pretty easy peasy, man. Unfortunately, he did not drop a Beast Fang for us, which I didn't think so. So anyways, now we want to continue across this way like I was going before, before I was so rudely interrupted by that, that encounter with the two run fast and the Lizard Man. I want to head down here because we saw that chest when we first walked in, but we couldn't get across to get it. Now we can. It's actually the only thing that's down here. So in this battle, we have a Mandrake and two Tricky Bats, which are both Wind Elementals, about 30. Uh, 30 health each, not too bad whatsoever. They do have a chance of dropping a Mind Purifier, so nothing rare out of these guys. I recommend just taking them down real quick, getting rid of them as quickly as possible, and then focus on whatever else you're actually fighting. Now that we're done with that battle, we can continue down here to the item that we really, really want. Trust me, it is well worth coming down here to get this item out of this chest. Uh, oh, jar, Because it contains a chain mail. One of the first times that we've actually been able to upgrade the armor on either Lavitz or Dart, which is, you know, pretty nice to finally be able to do that. So we have the chain mail here. You can actually see what a difference that causes in, uh, in our dear friend Dart here. Not only does it raise his magic defense by over 20 points, 22 points, 
Uh, it actually also raises his, um, his defense as well. Uh, not by a huge amount, but by a pretty significant, by a pretty significant amount. Uh, we could also, of course, quit, uh, equip this on Lavitz here, uh, which would help him out with that magic defense that he is so sorely lacking. But because of the boss fight that is coming up, it's actually better to equip this right now on Dart than it is to equip it on our dear friend Lavitz. So let's put that chain mail on Dart. And I'll, I'll explain why when we actually get to that boss fight. But there you go. You get the chain mail. That is the whole reason for coming down here. Trust me, though. Totally, totally 100% worth it. So we want to continue back where we were. There's no other items down here or anything like that. And we want to head back to where we saw that webbing and all, all, that, all that gross stuff. I wonder why there's so much webbing. There, it's weird because there's no spider enemies in this entire place. None whatsoever. But there's webbing, I guess, maybe from the dra- I don't know. Listen, uh, I'm going to get into a random battle real quick just to get that done before we walk forward. Corey from the future here, because I wanted to show you a really, really rare enemy that you can find here in the Nest of Dragon, and that is the Man-Eating Bud. This thing has 132 health and has a 5% chance of, of, of appearing. It is also darkness-based, uh, and it has an 8% chance to drop Angel's Prayer. There is also some talk that it can potentially drop um, a plate mail. I don't think so. No one has confirmed it, and at this point, the game's been out so long, I don't think that it's real. Uh, it actually has a few different attacks that it can do. It's a really, really unique enemy, uh, and something that I just wanted to show off real quick. So there you go. The the man-eating bud, 8% chance of dropping an angel's prayer, and of course, uh, supposedly, a chance of dropping plate mail. 5% encounter rate here in the Nest of Dragon. I would not try to farm this thing for plate mail. It ain't gonna happen, dude. It ain't gonna happen. Now you're about to find out why this is the best area to train up your additions in quite some time. So let's continue this way. Oh, no! Oh, that's not good. I love how... Wow! <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna drop us into the true nest of the dragon. Good. You've come around. Yes, I think I'm fine. Shayna, you're starting to be a nuisance, girl. Where are we? In the nest of the dragon. Well, at least we don't need to look for Fairbrand anymore. What confidence you have. Is that because you are a dragoon? I guess. Guys, look at this. There is still pure water left in this forest. And at least the entire forest isn't spoiled. Let's go. If we defeat the monster, the forest will be saved. Uh, okay, but whatever. Anyways, if you drink from this water, it will completely restore all of your health and MP. Meaning, this is, like I said, one of one of just a wonderful place to level up in the game. Just a great, great spot. I recommend getting at least a level. Uh, definitely, definitely work on those additions, especially with the Lizard Man. What I always do is I always wait until I get that, that Beast Fang, and then I'm done. So, what a spooky plant. We actually need to, like, turn off this plant. Listen, it's weird. So, let's go down this way. This is, like, our first, like, maze of the game, I guess. Kind of, right? Uh, we can come down here. And there's some ways over here. There's also this thing that we can, like, oh. Before I was so rudely interrupted, I was heading up this vine. So, we can use this one, which will lead us up to an area with a mushroom. What's going on? Use that, I got it. When it's touched, it reacts with that. Interesting, cannot carry any more items. <sighs> Let's go ahead and use this now, which contains a spirit potion for us. And then we can go ahead and grab this mushroom as well, which lowers that one over there. Interesting. All right, so. But we're not done, because we obviously, we can't go that way. Okay, so let's let's hop down here. We still have one more mushroom that we need to get. We can see it in the, in the distance there, right? So let's go down this way, where we can grab an item real quick. This actually is a body purifier. It's up to you if you want to use it or not. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to discard a body purifier. 
Uh, and then I'm gonna pick up this body purifier just so that I actually, you know, have it. So let's do that. And then, oh, look at that, a free body purifier. I just don't like leaving chests unopened. That's, that's, my, that's my dealio. Then we wanna go all the way back to where we were before, where we did the shroom, and then we wanna go down here. And down here and right through this room, which will lead us over here into this like little pathway thing. Oh my God, where is my, where's the, there it is. I was like, why aren't there any of the arrows? I turned them off. And then we wanna, oh geez Louise. Jeez Louise. So we can go up here. Trust me, this is worth it. I know it seems way out of the way because of like, it's not actually going, oh wait, oh we could touch the mushroom. Goodbye, mushroom, goodbye. And then we can head down and back down into, we can do this one, which contains a bravery amulet, which is a new item, a new accessory that we haven't seen before. So why don't we go check that out real quick. And let's see, what does it do? Avoids the abnormal status fear. Nice, cool beans. And then we can head back up here. It looks like we have one more chest that we can grab though. We haven't gotten that one. So why don't we focus on backtracking to where we were before? Kind of puzzly, you know, it's it's really, it looks more complicated than it is. This puzzle is not hard whatsoever. As long as you like go the right way and, and you know, you're, you're pretty much good. Like we're already back here, you know what I'm saying? And that's where we came down before. So obviously the only way that we can head now is this way to grab this chest, which I can't carry anymore. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to discard a mind purifier because that's the item that this is, I believe. Uh, we can discard that and just pick it up again. You know what I mean? Uh, just to get the chest open. There we go, free mind purifier. And then we head back up here to where we were before. Now what I would recommend doing before you proceed any further whatsoever is that you head over here, head back down, because obviously forward is the way we need to go or up, whatever. Uh, but there's like a nice little fancy healing thing that we can use. So let's get into this random encounter that's waiting for us. There we go. Because we wanna be able to use this health, this health restoring thing without getting into another random encounter so that we can go forward with the most health and the most resources to us, uh, available to us possible. So we wanna head back up where we were. We killed all the mushrooms. So the plants are, I, listen, I don't know, but there is a save point here. I recommend using it. Usually when there's a save point, that means that there's a boss right in front of us and you know what's waiting for us. It's a dragon. A dragon is waiting for us. So let's continue this way and let's head into the final room of the dragon's nest. Who is this? Is that you, Lavitz? It's so ironic to find you venturing here. You are Graham. Do you know him? I will never forget him. He used to be the head of the second knighthood of Basil. Graham, the man who used to be my father's best man. What? No way, is that just a coincidence? Welcome, Lavitz. You have become a knight, fulfilling the wishes of your late father, Servi. Don't you ever mention my father's name. Are you still carrying that grudge after more than a dozen years for my betrayal of your father? That's not all. You betrayed King Albert. You betrayed every single person I know. Is that the wrath of a patriotic knight or a man full of vengeance? Both. Graham, I now get to avenge my father who trusted you and died in vain. Get revenge, huh? Try, see if you can truly beat me in my newly obtained power. What? Emerge, the power of the dragon. You, you were a dragoon. It shouldn't be a surprise. Only the dragoons can manipulate dragons. Behind the dragon, there should be. The tick! This is the power I obtained. Obtaining that power is not an easy matter. You, where did you get the dragoon spirit? I'm amazed there is someone in Basil who knows about this. Fine, 
You too will know before you die. His Majesty Dole got all his power and intelligence from Emperor Diaz. Is this some kind of dream? Emperor Diaz died 11,000 years ago with the name of the Holy Imperial Gloriano. If this is a dream, how can you explain what you are about to see? Come, I give you a chance to avenge your father if you have the courage to fight against the legendary Dragoon! Here we go, guys. Not only did we find Fairbrand, the Green Tusk Dragon, our first battle against an actual dragon, but we found the person that can command him. The Dragoon. The Jade Spirit Dragoon. The man who murdered Lavitz's father. Both of these guys are wind elementals, so with Lavitz, we are gonna focus on his dear friend here, his father's ex-friend, Graham. With a solid 49 damage, Graham has 350 health. Fairbrand has 500 health. We, my friends, are going to, uh, oh no, I did not mean to do that. Oh, shucks, that's fine. Well, I guess we're gonna be turning into a Dragoon. I really, really like to focus on Graham first and, and kind of ignore Fairbrand. We'll deal with him later. We wanna focus on Graham. He can dish out the most damage the fastest. So we wanna focus on him. Unfortunately, I did use my Dragoon form. That's fine. Uh, this is a good chance for us to see explosion, I suppose. So let's go and look. So we have fire, strength 50% single, uh, or we have our new spell, explosion, which we haven't seen yet. So why don't we go ahead and use that? It's probably not gonna do that much damage, but it's worth doing anyways. Explosion! Especially since I can show it off and how cool it actually looks. A little extra, a little extra dart. Oh my gosh, and no damage whatsoever. 41 and 33, respectively, it's terrible. Uh, attacking power is up. Fairbrand can raise its stats. Interesting. It's amazing to me that the thing that Dart ran from at the very beginning of the game is the thing that he is sitting here fighting now. Here we go, Graham's going to attack with a very powerful move that's gonna do 22 damage. Anyways, uh, so we are actually going to go ahead and we're going to use our dear our dear friend here. I actually picked up two pellets while I was uh, talking to Davos uh, because those are earth-based, meaning they're going to do a ton of damage versus Graham. So let's go ahead and do as much damage as we can with these. Watch how much earth elemental damage this can do to this guy, ready? 132 total damage against Graham uh, with that attack. Again, he only has 350 health, so that's pretty good. Now, this is his uh, really cool attack. I think this is just amazing looking. It's also his most damaging attack. 56 damage coming out of him on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and we're actually going to use our physical attack here on Graham. Let's hope that I get a perfect. I'm really, really, like I said... Oh, I got a perfect! I'm usually really bad at those, but... Lucky for me, Dart was able to get a perfect. Fifty-six whole damage. Wow, Dart, you are, uh... Easily our weakest link right now. Fifty-six damage, jeez. Again, Graham has uh, 350 health. If you did decide to focus Fairbrand first, Fairbrand has a whopping 500 health. So we're gonna focus here on, uh, let's see, 59 damage coming out with that whip smack. Not bad. 45 damage onto Lavitz from Fairbrand. Not too bad, but it does inflict the poison status, which is not something we wanna deal with. I do want to, oh no, I missed. Messed up my additions. Ugh. I got a deep gash. Perfect. So now we have defeated Graham, and that leaves just the dragon before us. I think it's fitting that Lavitz is the one to take him down. And Rose's transformation. We haven't seen this too much, because I haven't actually been transforming that often. But for a fight like this, you absolutely need to. I remember when I was a kid, I would get absolutely destroyed destroyed by this fight. So we're gonna go ahead and use Astral Gen Astral Gen on uh, Fairbrand here because it's going to do a lot of damage and also 
Uh, it's a siphon, so we'll actually siphon health from the dragon and restore it to Miss Rose, which is pretty gnarly stuff. I think this is also the first time we've seen it. Not just Rose, of course. She'll also heal everybody in the party with Astral Drain. Making it one of the most useful Dragoon abilities in the entire game. Look at that. 46, 46, and 15. Now, remember when I said that I wanted to focus on... I'm actually going to go ahead and use a Body Purifier here on Lavitz, just so he doesn't take that poison damage. Remember when I said that we were going to put the Chainmail onto Dart because of the magic defense? We didn't do it for Lavitz because both Fairbrand and Grem are win-based. So is Lavitz. So, he's going to take reduced damage from them anyways? You know what I mean? 59 damage coming out of Lavitz. Let's go ahead. We're going to Astral Chain again on Fairbrand just because it does do so much damage. Astral Drain. I love when she says it. She's so beautiful. I love Rose. Now, something that you could also do to get ready for this fight is you could equip Rose with the Sapphire pin that we got from Davas after rescuing him in the Volcano Villu. Any time that she is attacked by a magic attack, she'll actually convert that into MP. She'll get MP back, meaning she can use Astral Drain a ton of times without needing to rely on those Sun Rhapsodies, which we got earlier. 138 damage. Remember, he only has about 500 health. We've already done about, I'd say, close to 300. We might take down the flea pretty quick. Attacking power is up. Uh-oh. The longer the fight goes on, the stronger he gets as well. So we want to make sure... He's already in the red, so we want to make sure that we take him down pretty quick with a very weak burning rush of a 32 damage. Jeez Louise. 53 damage on Lavitz, and again it poisoned him. That's not good. Let's see if Lavitz can actually take down Fairbrand. 59 damage. No. All right, that means Rose. Yeah, down goes Fairbrand. And let's hope that we got the plate mail. We did, yes, oh, beautiful. The plate mail, my friends, is a 30% chance of dropping from Graham. And we got it on the first try. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to redo this fight uh, and I don't have to because we got it. We got it. Some of the, some really good armor that we don't get until way later in the game, we just got for Dart or Lavitz, which is pretty gnarly. 100 gold and 1,200 experience points. That is enough to get everybody up to level 11, minus Shayna, of course. And Lavitz learned a new addition, the Gust of Wind Dance, which is one that I cannot do to save my life, but I will practice. Oh, and Shayna did level up to level nine. Good for her. Good for, good for her. You have servi strength. My efforts were to no avail. I even used betrayal to obtain this power. I still don't understand. Why did you betray my father? You were not like this. Nobody could be stronger than your father. That was the only thing I could never conquer. I had admiration for him as a mate and as a friend. Time goes by and it turns into this feeling, this fear from realizing the limits of your ability, this fear that goes nowhere. The only thing you can do is curse yourself for weakness. But you couldn't overcome your fear by defecting to Dole. You needed to overcome my father. There was an alternative. If only I could obtain a new power I could be equal to, or surpass him. That was the Dragoon Spirit I got from His Majesty Dole. Lavitz, live strong. Now, I can go to be with Servi. He's lucky to be dead now. Greed for power eventually conquers you. 
Unleashed power generates only sorrow. He should have known that. He was lucky to die now and avoid even more sorrow. Huh? What? What is this? Such a coincidence. It can't be. Or is this fate? Lavitz, maybe you too are. Dart is right. The Dragoon Spirit of the Drade... Of the Drade? The Dragoon Spirit of the Jade Dragon recognized you as the next master. I am... a Dragoon? I deserve to rule dragons? Not only do you deserve, but you have an obligation to accept your fate as a Dragoon, don't you? what Graham left for me. I understand. I accept it. The fate of a Dragoon. I will use this power for justice. Like Dart and Rose. Use for justice? <laughs> Acquired the Dragoon spirit of the Jade Dragon. That is hard to say. Jade Dragon. Good for you, Lavitz. Uh, Shayna. I can't breathe. Too much poison? We cannot make it over Vilud carrying Shayna. Then we have to go to Lohan. Lohan, that commercial town? Yes, that's it. I heard there is a great doctor there. Hurry. Look at this, guys, my friends. Not only did we get the plate mail, which is super awesome, but also, Lavitz here is now a Dragoon. I feel like we all saw that coming, right? But like, that's so cool. We are absolutely going to equip this plate mail over on Lavitz. So cool that we got that on the first attempt. We're also going to go ahead and use the body purifier on Lavitz because like he needs to be detoxified. You know what I'm saying? So now we have one way out and that is to climb this webbing, which I still don't really understand. I guess because he's a flea. Do fleas lay webs? I guess so. Spin webs, whatever. Tick, flea, it don't matter none. <laughs> so now we can exit on the other side of this uh, this webbing here. We can see this cross cut to bail area. Interesting. Right is the dragon's den, beware, slide. So you can actually go this way now to go back. You don't actually have to go down into the dragon's den unless of course you're like me, in which case you can't actually get back up. So you have to go through and do that. I'll just meet you on the other side. Well, now that I'm back after embarrassing myself, let's head out over here. I really, really want to show off Mr. Lavitz now. His new dragoon form. South of Sergio. Interesting. We have been north of Sergio for a long time. And now we're officially south? Pretty cool stuff. So now you'll see that our dragoon spirits in the lower left-hand corner. We now have the green one. The jade dragoon is now with us. If we go ahead and look at the status of Lavitz, we can see that he has an attack called Wing Blaster. 20 MP, look at that. Beautiful stuff. We can also see his additions and see which, which ones give us SP. Spinning Cane will give us 35 at the moment. Harpoon gives us 50. Rod Typhoon gives us 30. Gust of Wind Dance gives us 35. You know, it really stinks though. He's like the furthest away from Rod Typhoon and Gust of Wind Dance, and he gets an extra addition, and, and Rose is sitting over here at 99 to her next level and still doesn't have- Ow! Frustrating stuff. Anyways, right here, my friends, is Lohan, the commercial town of Lohan, where we need to enter. I'm gonna go back into the Nest of Dragons, and I'm going to keep farming until I get that Beast Fang that I was talking about from Lizard Man, and also get my additions up in the next episode. I'll see you in Lohan, where we will get a doctor for Shayna and find out how to cure her of this poison, and it's not in a way 
that you might think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We got super lucky with that plate mail drop, and the fight actually went pretty smooth against Graham and Fairbrandt. Uh, things I could have done better, but uh, overall, pretty satisfied with that fight. If you guys are enjoying this series and this channel, please throw a like onto the video. And if you want to monetarily support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash missiledineonline for where for just a dollar a month you can get early access to these videos about a week early. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to Fairbrand, the Green Tusk Dragon.